What is up, Flock? Phoenix Hiller here, and welcome back to the Farming Sim 22 Phoenix Moment. This is where we talk about everything that happened last week, everything that happened this week, and so on. So before we get started, you guys know we have to start by thanking our Elite Flock members. These are beautiful people that support the channel every single month. And one of the perks of being Elite Flock members, you name shout out the beginning of every Phoenix Moment. So without further ado, let's run down this list of awesome people. We have Mr. Matt Carter, Mr. Dirty Diesel 98, Mr. Redneck Gaming 98, Mr. JT Pathards Gaming, Mr. Remy Merrill and uh, a new member who actually he actually subscribed before the last Phoenix moment come out, uh, but I already recorded it or recorded it, uh, so we'll give him a special shout out here. And that's Mr. Colin Cooper. All of them, I sub I greatly appreciate your guys' support. Uh, it does mean a lot to me as always. I love your faces. If you guys would like to join the Elite Flock Club, there's no better time than now. You guys can check out that join button down below. It'll tell you everything you need to know about becoming an Elite Flock member and all the perks and all that jazz. Now, I don't have a comment of the week this week um, simply because I it's so busy and I just I haven't I haven't um, had time to sit down and respond to comments so i have i don't i don't have one to include this week i will do that uh next week though because i like i said i've just been so busy and that's why i'm recording this actually on thursday night not friday night because i don't know how my weekend's gonna play out so i figured just pre-game it get it done on thursday night that way you guys get it on time uh and i don't have it late or anything so sorry for not having a comment i will say there was um people commenting that i don't provide the links for the fire truck mod spotlights and there's a very good reason to that because i can't <laughs> provide you the discord link to tlo discord um they are very strict about who they allow in the only way you can get the deal the the dlo dlo uh, the way you get the TLO Discord uh, invite link is you have to go through the Facebook group. Uh, so you have to be approved there, and then you get to you're able to get the link. And then once you get the link, then you have to put in an application. It's a whole thing, so I can't just share the link to those. Um, but I'm pretty sure everybody knows where they come from by this point. There's only fire trucks being released in 17. So any hoozles. Uh, if you guys are wondering where the links are in that, that's uh, because they're you know they're locked behind uh, uh, lock and key. Anyway, so last week was a crazy busy week for me, and um, let's just run run down run down the days <laughs> at this point. Uh, Sunday, Monday, pretty normal. Uh, Tuesday's where things start to go haywire. So Tuesday. Uh, took the day off. My wife had off. Uh, we took our our daughter and one of her friends to the movies to see uh, Inside Out 2. Um, she has a friend that uh, got pulled out of school. They haven't seen each other in a while, so my wife offered to take both of them to the movies. Made her day, and that's all that matters to us. Just making her happy so uh, what was supposed to be uh just time for my wife to spend with our daughter end up becoming um me and my wife spend time together while, I, while our daughter spent time with her friend which you know we're all together so that's that's all that matters um but yeah so tuesday most of our day was spent um going to the movies and then you know afterwards and all that jazz so didn't get much done that day <laughs> and then wednesday uh my wife gets a phone call uh from my uh my mom my, my stepmom uh who lets us know another hose had broken in the pool so we had to get another hose for the pool and start the process of getting the pool reopened all over again because well yeah over half the water came out of the pool this is the second hose to fail uh, this year we haven't had any any problems like this in golly it's been what six seven years since we've had that pool and we haven't had knock on wood and we haven't had any really any problems and this year it's just it just want, wants to just pff, the hoses are busting left and right i think she's replaced three hoses now so far um so yeah it's 
is ridiculous. Um, but yes, yeah, so we had to deal with that on Wednesday. Thursday, I went over to help my dad uh, clean out the shed. He's trying to rearrange. My dad is just n- not uh, not doing well with this having to stay inside because he's on oxygen now, and he is trying to find any every reason to go outside. That's just my dad, and uh, so he's he, he he's decided uh, in his. Uh, boredom to choose one of the hottest months in the year to clean out the shed which is the you know thursday wasn't that bad of a day but it was like 20 degrees hotter in the shed so i'm sweating my butt off the, in the sweat in the sweat yeah that that you know that's what it's called for now it's it's a it's a sweat shed the sweat um sweating my butt off in the sweat because it's so hot in there but yet when you step outside it's like a cool spring day and i was like oh and then it catches up to you that you know no it's it's actually in the mid 80s outside and you're like oh at least there was a breeze <laughs> but it wasn't coming into the sweat uh, so that was thursday friday my dad wanted me to come back over that's why i'm recording this because i don't know uh like i might just be dog tired by the end of of the stream friday and i'm just just calling it a night. Uh, that's why I want to get this recorded. So I made sure it was recorded for you guys one time. And Saturday my wife has off. And usually when my wife has off. That means we go do something today. So I'm just I'm pre-gaming to make sure everything goes up. But yeah. So last week. Especially from Tuesday to Friday. Busy. Just absolute busy. So hopefully. Hopefully this week's a little bit smoother. Probably won't be. Because it's fair week. The fair starts this Thursday. So. There goes my net. Because <laughs> my net always... When the fair starts, my net just tanks. It always happens. Anyway, I think it's all for last week. Let's go ahead and, and jump in this week and what to expect this week. So, first up, Phoenix Moment. You're watching it now. If you are not, well, you're missing out. You are missing out because you're missing out. <laughs> you don't know what's happening happened last week and why the mod spotlight went up on Friday instead of Wednesday and all that jazz, but... If you do, you know now. And you know I appreciate you for taking the time to care about my act- crazy life, I guess you could say. Anyway, so Sunday, Phoenix Moment, you're watching now. Monday will be another uh, Farming Sim 17 mod spotlight. We still have a bunch of stuff to get through. Uh, and I'm guessing I'm going to have even more coming up this week because of the uh, release a video spoiler alert if you haven't watched that video yet covenant county is being released sometime soon um i have to post the video i don't know when exactly it's going to be released i just recorded it tonight and uh we got word that the pack is done we're just waiting for it all to be uploaded and uh the release date to be released and that when that when it does release that video will go live <coughs> um as far as Monday, though, it will be a, a, the last of those videos, the last of those trucks that we were showing off in that one video. And then we will move back into doing um, map mods. Because there's a lot of cool maps that have come out in the recent weeks for Farm Sim 22. As far as uh, Tuesday goes, more Fallout 76. Uh, that's upload it like five weeks ahead of time so still plenty of that Wednesday will be a, a mod spotlight uh, it's probably going to be more carnival rides for those of you who find that interesting if you don't I'm sorry it's just it. I, I'm fascinated by it so uh, yeah I guess that's bad luck on you anyway <laughs> Thursday will be more uh, back for blood I think I still have a couple of those uploaded, so that for sure will go up. And Friday will be a Phoenix Plays for sure. I think it's going to be Snowplow Simulator. Don't know exactly just what yet. We'll see. Um, for the uh, for our Elite Flock members, uh, there will be some Counter-Strike videos going up sometime this week. Hopefully, uh, there should be more back for blood and fallout 76 being uploaded and um 
I'm not sure what else. We got some PGA golf uh, to upload as well um, for you guys. I, I, that that's kind of out there, but yeah, we got some of that to upload as well. I'm gonna cut that up to to make them small because like 40 minutes long right now, so I'm gonna cut it up, make it a little bit more entertaining, and so on. Anyway, so let's move on to the live streams. What live streams you guys can expect? So first up is Sunday. It's probably already happened by the time school lives or currently happening. I you know I don't know. Uh, JT streams on Sundays. He's been doing construction sim here lately. He did some G or PGA, not GTA, PGA golf on this past Sunday. But he does everything from Among Us to construction sim to PGA golf to Lego games stuff like that. If you guys are interested, you can find his channel link down in the description down below. He usually starts streaming between like uh, I think it's like. 11 12 uh, Eastern Standard Time. Yeah. So if you guys want to check that again, it's probably already happened. He's either live now or he's already finished streaming. Um, but you guys can pregame for next week. So you can, you know, you know, if you subscribe to him now, you can catch next week's for sure. Thursday night is PJ Stream Night. You guys know uh, if you see with Cast Pajamas in the title on. Uh, on any of my videos, that's all recorded on Thursday nights when PJ streams live. Uh, so if you want to see his point of view or you want to see all the content uncut, you guys can head on over to his channel. Also linked in the description down below with JT's. And you can catch him live Thursday nights, usually between 8.30 and 9 p.m. He'll start live streaming. Lastly, we have me on Fridays and Saturdays. So Friday, uh, Friday's Farming Fridays for sure should be going back to normal. My wife did get a promotion where her schedule is more um, uh, how do I put it? Not more accurate, not more stable. There you go. I think stable is the word I'm looking for. So she's going to be working pretty much the same hours uh, on the same days going forward. Before it was just kind of she was filling in where like she was an assistant manager. She was filling in where the manager and the uh, the main assistant manager couldn't do it, but now she's made the main assistant manager. Her hours are pretty normal. Um, so yeah, going forward, Friday, following Friday should always be a given. Uh, between eight and nine p.m., I'll start uh, doing some farming stuff here on on the channel. So if you want to click that subscribe button or the notification bell, so you guys don't miss. A live stream Saturday night is a little bit more up in the air uh, because Saturdays usually are go and do stuff together day so if, uh, you know we have a day night or if we just go hang out with my dad's or something like that uh, so Saturday's a little bit more up in the air um, but if uh, she doesn't have anything planned for this Saturday then we will be uh, going live with what I don't know because those Saturday nights are the nights that the guys get to choose what they want to play and I'll stream it so that is uh, that is the game plan going forward for this week. Anyway, that's going to do it for me for today, guys. If you guys did enjoy today's video, do me a huge favor. Leave a like down below. It does help me out so very, very much. And I do appreciate it so very, very much. If you guys do want to see future Farming Simulator 22 Phoenix Moments, be sure to click the subscribe button. If you guys want to be notified whenever I do a live upload video, click that notification bell. And as always, guys, thank you so very, very much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.